Welcome to the Intro to Absinthe series at Alchemist.camp. This is Mark, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of what's coming up in the series. First, I'll do a quick overview of GraphQL, what it is, and why it's getting increasingly popular to be used alongside of, or sometimes even instead of, a REST API. Then I'll do a quick overview of Absinthe, which is the uh, Elixir library, the default library, and possibly even the only library for using Absinthe. Then I'll cover schemas, queries for getting information from an API, mutations for creating or updating items, subscriptions, how to integrate your GraphQL API with the Phoenix app, and this will include auth, front-end integration, which also has an auth component, and then finally extras, such as how to work with GraphQL across a back-end and front-end hybrid app. Say you have an admin panel that is back-end only, and then you also have an API-driven front-end app that is uh, some, sort, some JavaScript spa like React or Vue or Angular. And we'll also go over some plugins for improving the performance of your API, such as Data Loader. Uh, in order to go through this series, you'll need to be comfortable with Elixir. If you haven't used any Elixir in the past, I suggest you go to alchemist.camp slash episodes and scroll down to the very first ones. They're still applicable with current versions of Elixir, and it's a step-by-step -step set of tutorials with challenges that will get you up to speed quickly. Uh, you'll also need to be comfortable with Phoenix in order to follow this tutorial. Uh, it doesn't mean you need to know everything about Phoenix, but you at least need to you know, be able to build a, a to-do list or you know, some kind of basic Phoenix app. You'll also need some familiarity with Ecto, which you'll probably have if you've worked with Phoenix. And then finally, there's a bit of JavaScript. You won't need to know that much JavaScript to follow through this series, but of course, to integrate with JavaScript on the front end, we'll be using a little bit of JavaScript. So that is the plan. This is going to be a fairly lengthy series that I'll be adding to over time and you can find it at alchemist.camp.